my gosh. Oh, dad. <laughs> oh, vile. Hello, and welcome to another game of Smash or Cast. This is the game where we either smash the piece inside or we choose to cast it again. I took your advice and I actually got my studio assistants to pick out these molds and also clean them all up so I have no idea what I'm about to open. So let's do it together and see what's inside. I'm gonna start with this little one here. I don't like looking at it when I open it. I need a second to react. Oh my goodness, they're little bunnies. Oh my gosh. I think they're handles for mugs. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's a little carrot bunny handle. That's rather sweet. Oh my gosh, the bunnies are doing different things. They're hopping different ways and they're with the carrot. Oh, that one's smiling. That's really cute. This one's a pretty simple one for me to react to. I definitely think this one's a cast again. It can be used in so many ways beyond Easter things. I just love that you could add this and make a really cool carrot themed mug or a bunny themed mug or just Easter themed and Easter's coming up. So I have a feeling that's why they picked it out for me because Easter is just around the corner. I have a mug that this suits really well with to use these handles. I think that this is definitely a cast again. I poured this bit and then I discovered that this bit was also a poury thing and I actually got distracted and forgot to tip the top out. So hopefully I can still make this piece work. I haven't seen it yet. I just need a minute. Oh my gosh, it's a sweet little sugar pot. Oh bless, oh my gosh, Th oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank goodness, it's actually got a lip built into it, so it's fine. The fact that I left it, it's actually totally fine. I should have tipped it out still because it's gonna be quite a heavy lid, but that was very lucky. Cause sometimes with these hollow pieces, you need to tip them out at a certain point to get the right thickness so that the lid and the base matches up. But you will see what I mean. The lid fits perfectly. Oh my goodness, that is sweet. I love it. Look at that shape. Oh, the itty bitty handles. It's almost like a ginger jar. Does it say anything? It doesn't say anything. I think it's like a ginger pot even. I need to get this little lid out and I want to see how it sits inside, but I will do the old trimaroo. I think that this is delightful. What an awesome cool shape. Anti, <laughs> anti mini handle, but for this piece, because it's so easy to handle as it is, the handles just kind of add like a cute little whimsy to it rather than a function. They are, I think that I can't handle it right now, but I'm once inspired, it will be interesting to see how structurally they are and how they sort of help you handle the piece. I really like that shape a lot. I don't know what it is about it. It just, it feels really comfy. It makes me feel comfy. I just like that pottery can make me feel a certain way. We already know where we're going with the answer for this one. <laughs> I have never loved a jar more. You couldn't make a more perfectly shaped jar if you tried. I would have put jam in this. I want to put sauces. I want to put flowers. I want to put ginger and garlic. I want to make a shrine just for this jar because it is so perfect. Look at the little bun lid. It's just, I think that like covering it in my designs is just perfect. And I don't have to do anything special with that. And you can add attachments to it. You could put little doodads. Oh, you just can't. You just cannot improve perfection. And I think that this is one where it will only ever be improved by what you paint on it. This is definitely, if without a question, a cast again. This one almost looks a bit homemade. So Ashton said she wasn't sure whether I would absolutely love this piece or absolutely hate it. So <laughs> I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I'm so curious with that comment and I, I don't know what I'm going to think. Um, so I guess let's just <laughs> open it up. Oh, dad. <laughs> oh my gosh. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> 
Honestly, no. It's it's another football. It's another sport instrument. And detail-wise, phenomenal. The fact that it's got all those amazing textures on it. It's got all the amazing stitching on it. I feel like this could be a collaboration with a cool sports team or something like that. Footy colours I could put on there. It looks like an AFL footy. I think it's kind of cool. And there could be some place with this. Maybe I could attach it to something. I don't know, actually. Because now that I'm thinking about ideas, I just... I think the volleyball previously was too far gone and it was just a circle in the end and that's sort of easy to reproduce as a mold but this is different this has got a small handheld shape and it's going to be a lot smaller I feel like I could make certain things hold this football and I feel like I could do some collaborations with some footy teams I think I won't love it as much as it deserves to be loved and I'm recognizing that in myself as much as I could keep it for the potential which is like every single mold I could keep everything for their potential because they all have potential but the potential of this one not going to be utilized as much with me and I feel like someone else will love and appreciate this so much more than me so for that reason it's gonna be a smash that was an awesome sound I know what this is before I even have to open it and you might be familiar with it too. It's another doll mold. So far I haven't liked any of them, like they've been pretty cute but I haven't been able to use them. So I have a feeling it's already a smash just because I'm not a doll maker and don't plan to be. But I have a feeling there's a reason this one has shown up out of all the molds that could have been picked out there because they know I've opened the doll mold. So I'm wondering why they've gone, let's give her another one to open. It must be brilliant. I'm not looking forward to this one. I already know it's gonna be bad. Oh, vile. I'm just gonna close that. Thank you for watching another episode. Okay, I'll show you. It's fine. It is, um... It's a clown doll. This is a clown doll. As if making dolls wasn't already somewhat nightmare fuel. This is what haunts me in my sleep paralysis dreams. At least this guy's happy. Like, they're happy. They're having fun, scaring me. I just don't like it. <laughs> I just said to them, if you're going to pick anything, don't pick a clown. I should not have said that because look what happens when you say specifically do not pick a clown. You get a clown. I absolutely think that this is nightmare fuel right here. Um, I think the answer to this game is quite obvious. We will be smashing the clown. Thank you, Ashton. Thank you so much for this beautiful present. Um, if anyone's looking for a job, I have one. Just kidding, just kidding, but it's not for me. Again, doll maker, probably appreciate this. Definitely preferred all the other doll molds a lot more than this one. How did we go from this absolute perfection to this monstrosity? It's a smash. Not you. Yeah, perfection, don't change a thing. But you, yeah, I'm sorry. If something happens to me, we're gonna know why. It's because I smashed this guy. I just... <laughs> the pop! Oh, excellent. What is that shape? Oh, it's really beautifully detailed. Oh no. <laughs> oh wow. I don't actually know what these are. 